That's why you have worms under your foreskin. Are we live? Oh, really? Yeah. Under. Yeah, that's what he was saying. Glad I chopped mine. Were off. you not listening? Yeah, I, I just caught it at the end. Are this we... is dumb. What happened? Yours is that, and mine's that. And look, do mine you, doesn't do that. Do you want to be as cool as me? I'm just, it's shit. Anyway, well, keep it. You know you can fix it, right? I'll be right back. No, no. See these things here? These flicker lickers? They tighten. Fucking bullshit tech. So there, sort of okay. Sorry. Anyway. Anyway, um, hello everyone. Episode number 25. And we are in James's garage. And it's been a very stressful time for us. Um, we're looking for a place to rent. Um, but it's proving to be very difficult. And the re we found a really nice place. But the real estate, they want um, us to have insurance. So we're trying, I went to insurance companies and they all said... <laughs> Uh, what are your policies on like violent videos? And it's been a long process, and no one wants to insure us, which is fair enough, man, because we're fucking scum dogs. No, what? like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're so right. we're yeah. forced to be in this limbo situation where we have nowhere to sort of live from or, or just keep our shit at, and it's just it's quite a stressful it's situation. It's like being homeless, but you're not homeless, we'll be homeless soon. Yeah, the real estate agent wants to give us his house, but we don't have insurance so he's like waiting for the insurance and it's taking so long and then he's like what's going on i'm gonna have to move on soon and everything's just colliding in a fucking stress storm come it's like cern i don't want to talk about it anymore because i've got high hopes they're going to sort it out tomorrow yeah no, yeah. No, brown's no. going to be the caretaker yeah, I'm, uh, morale team morale at marty michael will be so low oh dude i'm yeah we are fucking getting bags i was i was emailing i was up till 9 30 10 last night emailing answering insurance questions that were so difficult to make sound good oh they were like oh where do you where do you film when you're not filming on a leased or privately owned uh like residence and i was like yeah good, good fucking question do i am parks? i do i be honest here and say we go to public parks can children's parks playgrounds see uh, that's where i think the it's all the info is getting like messed up you just need the insurance for when you're on the property I think. yeah i know yeah we've don't worry it's all changed it's very fuck it's been a process though okay and, and so we've been filming a lot we've filmed four website videos this week my god we're fucking fucking cunt that's fucking crazy cunt we'll be five weeks ahead now after it's that. getting yeah we've been a little we were it's getting gross and we're sorry for the yeah, people who don't like the gross shit videos. but that's what you get if you want uncut unrated website quality shit you get shit piss and vomit plus it's our sense of humor too we we think that's funny man yeah. we think and you being grossed out is I hilarious like mix is yeah. good yeah, good yeah. Mix. so anyway there's so, some disgusting in the shop did you see i, I don't i don't do know you... lighting i just know camera no, but like like is the you, is the like, light is the, on the camera the oh camera. <laughs> did you check you're gonna have to check that, man. Fuck no. All right, no, I'm right. pretty sure it's not. Yeah, I don't think it is. I just feel. I feel let's like say. It is. Let's let's just go out on a limb here and say it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> Marty just can't be. No, 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 no. It's fine because I saw Marty. And I, if I can yeah. see the camera's eyes, it can see mine. Can't. Matt it's, Brown. Sorry. Our, our last weekend we did have a bit of fun. We had a little surprise party for Michael's bloody oh, birthday yeah, at we my fucking together. house. She and was man. pleasantly surprised. So thank you, Mon. You saved the day. And man, we got, oh God, just margaritas all night. And man, it's Sunday. Oh, I haven't had a hangover that bad in a long, long time. Do you know why your margaritas gave you such a hangover? Because you were like... You're Shut like, up. You can't say no, no, that. I know why. Okay. okay. Exactly right. why. You go, because I remember the exact moment I walked in and went, oh, you're making margaritas. He went, yeah. He went, and you, you had something on your phone about like a... Like a, like a thing how to make them. An I know how to. I would so yeah, never then, have that. No, I, I know how to make them. Well, might not have been you, but somebody had it up, and then you and you said exactly that. You went, I know how to make them, and it was just like, shh, shh, shh. Yeah. I was like, they're gonna be fucking. The yeah, dude, they're, they're strong, strong, but it's all about the flavor balance. It's not about how strong they are. It's about the flavor balance, and they, they're very good. Yeah, they're very, very good. But yeah, they get you fucking they flipped get you up. Hammered. Cunt. They get you fucking <laughs> flipped, flipped up, cunt, cunt. Yeah, and we had a fire <laughs> and fuck. Oh, the it fire was, was nice. Yeah, it was cute. But yeah, anyway, crippling depression for the next three days and all this stress. And uh, here we are, exhausted. Matt had to stay behind late today at the concrete plant. 
It wasn't at the concrete plant. At the concrete plant, plant the they had issues, technical issues, squeezing the concrete out of the tubing into we the We didn't have technical issues. Pipes. We had some staffing issues. I had to stay behind to sort it out. So, you know, it's very late at the moment and um, the lying to Lockie segment has been a, a stressful to keep that going because... Man, we really want to keep that streak alive. Can't like we? we are good at what we do with that and we have some big shit planned and we think we're going to get her again. And we have a very special Bachelor Brown tonight. Oh. And of course, prank call. We got um, either Arnold Fine or Rhonda making a comeback. We can only call businesses that are open at like fucking however late it is now. So I'm thinking like a bloody... um maybe even a bar or something brother whatever you want bars will be busy though i reckon well, i want to see arnold fine try and put his pig in a restaurant again yeah yeah i just feel like arnold pig. fine's My voice it soothes me it makes me feel happy so i want um, that so quickly i went and saw a specialist oh. um i had to go see one because i had another kidney stone you oh are you that? dying oh you get more endone not yet did well, you? Not yet, maybe. Why getting, would you not bring one each for us? Fuckhead. I, I, You're a fuckhead, mate. <laughs> Can no, you bring... On. You've got how many? Like 10 of them. 10, yeah. Can give you bring, one can you just bring Give one us each five. Next half. Week? I would halve whatever I have with you. So you can have half this beer. I was going to say, I'll give you one each, but just calm down. We can... You brought some? No, but oh, I'm just you. saying... No, no, I'm sorry. Sorry. If you I want one, out. let's negotiate after the podcast. I out. Sorry. Okay. Sort of. Anyway, but what you went anyway, to a specialist? I went to a specialist because um, they wanted to look inside or look inside my kidneys because um, when I went to, when I had the kidney stone, I went dying, to the doctor man? last Don't time. tell me you're dying on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dying. Um, but they were saying that um, I've got more kidney stones and that I, they may need to, need to do keyhole surgery and put some radio oh, waves yeah. in. Just break turn that off. Stop having them. But um, they're too small. They're what too, are you doing? Eating more. stones. <laughs> Dude, you got to stop, stop eating that shit. fucking rocks. Just say, I, I know, like I would, if I was you, I would go, go away stones now. And normally and I would go away. Yeah. But I don't get know, a magnet like cunt, get a magnet cunt. and Try go away. Back up. Fucking get them out of your throat cunt. <laughs> but a funny moment happened. Um, so there was the doctor and there was two trainee doctors in the room. Two tranny doctors in the room. Trainee. 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 So they love trains? Training. They were training to be oh. doctors. Okay. Um, and anyway, we're, we're all four of us are in there. We're all talking and he was just giving me like diet things and things to cut out of my diet. Anyway, um, he goes to me, he goes, there's three different types of kidney stones and you know, some are uric acid or some are fr from lack of water. And anyway, he was going through that and he goes, there's a 90% chance it's this one. And I said, oh, okay. He goes, oh, and how do you tell? And he goes, oh, well, you usually examine the stone. I went, oh, okay, cool. He goes, but um, in, in nearly... I, I, it's rare that anyone actually brings a stone in because no one ever collects them. And, he, and I went, oh, I've got my stone. That's what I said to him. And he goes, really? I went, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I, uh, I pissed in a glass for like four days so I could show my friends. And he's like, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. He told you to oh. get out. He, yeah, he's like, he's like, he goes, it's the weirdest thing I've ever heard, but it's also one of the best things because now you can take it to your doctor and they can examine it. <laughs> So now you're taking the little stone and yeah, so they're he wants me to take that little stone and get it examined to see what, what flavors it has. Yeah. Imagine if it was just like salt. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. It's stone. What yeah. are stones made of? But, uh, it's made of kidney or some it shit. It could be uric acid base or it could be, uh, I can't remember what that thing was like. Flelelele. While we have you, uh, we're running a comment competition. Uh, at the end of the season, we're going to pick one comment out of all of the comments from the entire season's worth of comments to win $1,000. So the more times you comment, the more entries you have. So you're literally increasing your chances with every comment you write. If you write a billion comments, you got like a ninety nine percent chance of winning. I'm gonna ninety nine point yeah, nine. We we we've spoken about this before. It is guaranteed. Yeah, and and it'd be I funny. Think. It'd be funny if the winning comment was just like a letter or a number oh, or a full stop or something. At least two people have caught on to this process and they're banging out like fifty comments every podcast. See, if they're fine, then you watch. Their One of them will fucking win it. Fucking. One high. of them will fucking win it and they'll fucking fucking me like fucking fun, put all that fucking hard work in. Can't fuck. Or off. or a Marty and Michael time stamp comment will win it. Either oh, way, that would be so good because then we can reinvest it back. Do you oh, know what wow. I mean? Yeah. yeah. If we win, that'd be good. Holy so, shit! Let's we remember should that. start commenting heaps yeah mm. we'll get start. someone on it we'll get someone on oh, it oh yeah sorry sorry anyway jam-packed episode for you that's shit talk let's do the sponsors so i can fuck i can't wait to hear what you've got to say <sighs> oh yeah fucking hey hey 
Stop what you're doing. Just <laughs> shut up and sit down and listen to this. All right. You look like shit. Oh. No. Everyone here. Oh, sorry. And everyone listening. You could look better. You look maybe 60% of as good as you can look. Go to manscaped.com. You fucking stupid fuck. You dumb piece of shit. Go to manscaped.com. Don't ask what they have and all those weird questions. Just go to manscaped.com. See that the products that they have are there to help you go from 50% scum dog fat prick dick Don't buy to 90% buy beautiful. Do you understand? Don't look, buy. Just look at it, buy it, one of each. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. That's $5. Out of every, like it's it's a bit off. It's a little bit. I, it I've helped. been using the body wash. Out of every wash, twenty dollars, the body wash. I swear, some uh, somebody looked at me. Out of they every have cologne now. Look, out of every Luigi, huh? Luigi. Look at that. <laughs> out of every twenty five dollars, Michael and I and Matt will mm. give you five dollars back. Fully actual twenty is our discount code. Oh. Maybe. 20% and off And look you get Fucking sick packaging And it's like Gucci you look, like, shit. look at how you look right now Just Just you, you, You're trying to push it To the back of your mind You look kind of shit Okay Manscaped.com can help you Fully actual 20 Is our discount code Just go Have this a look is, This I'm going to say it. This is how I got Amber Link in the description Please Just uh, fucking do something about that Messy Shit Fix it and yeah, it just, it helps. It helps enhance. Anything helps, man. Manscaped. It smells different. Manscaped. Mm. Manscaped. Fully actual 20. <laughs> All right, you'll never believe it, everyone. Nord is back again. Bullshit. Yep. What? Yep. <laughs> Let me. What did they say? Mate, they are, uh, they're, they're, re they're there. Okay. They're like a twist in a horror film. No, they're actually there. He's right, man. You don't know. You don't know that. And it's there, as in T H. Let me just E I R E Y, little apostrophe oh, yeah. thing R E. What do you use that one for? They are. Hey everyone, are you getting hacked and shit, and you're fucking it dumb, and you don't know like what's going on? <laughs> what's going on outside? You dickhead. Well, fuck you, NordVPN, you stupid bitch. Go and get it, because NordVPN's this VPN shit that you f slap on your computer, dumb bitch, and that will stop cunts from knowing your emails and shit, cunt. People don't even know where you are when you have NordVPN. You become invisible, sort of. You are digitally invisible, and you, <laughs> and you might you might think, oh, so what? I don't want to be digitally invisible. You fucking idiot, cunt. Don't say that shit. Don't say that shit out loud. Don't even think it. You don't even know what's coming, cunt. Get NordVPN, all right? Listen to this. Threat protection deal. Communication will end. Okay. So that. it's like if you get, I reckon if you get this system, it's like watching Matrix 5. It's the Matrix 5 coming out. Listen to this, right? I think. Listen to this. <sighs> there are three plans for you to choose from right now, okay? VPN only. VPN plus pass. And VPN plus pass plus locker. Do you, do you, does that make sense so far? You get a, it's a locker, a digital locker. Enjoy the leading VPN service and malware blocker. And it is. It's the best. And people think, no, no, I don't want a VPN. It slows me down and I can't load my porn as fast. Ah, wrong. It's fine. This VPN will not slow your shit down. Do you understand, Matt? It backtracks. I know that was your concern, your primary concern. It backs that track. I was a little worried. Generate and store strong passwords. You will, you will never be hacked with this. Don't you understand that hackers are, cho are stealing billions and billions of dollars from your mother? Don't you get that? So maybe fight against that, you selfish piece Stand of shit. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up against it and join the fight against it, baby. Protect files in an encrypted cloud, dickhead. Majority focus, NordVPN as per usual. Emphasize a call to action. So there's that's that's what they want me to do. Okay. They want me to emphasize a call to action. So go to the description in the the link in the description. Fully actual. Okay. It's it's NordVPN slash fully actual. And you will get so many fucking perks from us to you. You get a gift from one number one. 
You know what the gift is? A money back guarantee. It's no one digital. knows what the it's gift is, It's digital gift. Man. No one knows what the gift it's is. Like and that's digital current. It's like a matrix shit. Look, it could be a diamond ring, cunt. You, you don't, don't know. know. You don't know. I like a t-shirt that says VPN. A t-shirt, whatever. It could be anything. No, right? right? Fact of the matter is, right? The link is in the description. Fully actual. No VPN, fully actual. You get a bunch of free shit. There's a money back guarantee. So there's nothing to lose, cunt. You sign up, it's shit. You don't like it, you get your money back. Which it won't be, so you don't get your money back because you, you think just they, love it. Why do you think they offer the money back guarantee? Because they know you won't go for it, cunt. Fuck me. It's yeah. like basic mass, cunt. No, I'm getting, you, I'm you getting, don't getting have worked it. up too. I'm, I'm fuming. You can watch Netflix from America. How about that? Do you know how shit Netflix is in Australia? You can watch anything, you, any streaming service from any other country in the whole fucking world because no one knows where you are. Imagine Netflix from the Philippines. How crazy that would you be. You could be outside of a nightclub and no one would even know where you are if you had a VPN. Yeah. Anyway. 30 day money back guarantee. Okay. D description in the links. <laughs> yeah. Fully actual and shit, man. And of course, our third and final and, you know, the best sponsor, the University of Markle, our subscription website, where we post weekly banger, like half an hour long videos. There's over 210 on there now, cunt. And there's the best content, the most out there content, the most outrageous content that you have ever seen. I guarantee it. You don't believe me? 21 day free trial. Link in the description. Go and have a look. Just watch like... I don't know. Watch five videos. Okay. I'm on there. So if we no, posted not, what we sorry. posted onto that ringworm, we would get, it would all get deleted. No, okay? we'd be in jail. Yeah, we'd yeah. be well, in jail if we, we made it public. Be. All right. One day we will all I'm be saying it. We would be in jail if we publicly posted some of our website videos. Go and have a look and, and let me know in the comments if you think I'm lying. I fucking dare you to like, go and have a look. And if you know, if you can't do any of this shit, like, comment, subscribe. It all fucking helps. All a, right? Belgian, a Belgium steamer? A Belgian steamer. We, we worked as more of a Cleveland steamer, what happened to you today. Oh, really? Yeah. What's a Cleveland steamer? It's when you like shit, shit on shit someone's on chest. chest and then you squelch like that's, into the shit. Yeah. And rock back and forth. A Belgian steamer is like sh shitting on a, on a girl and, while she's bloody... Yeah, on it's her weird, back man. or something. Yeah. Anyway. Know. Anyway. Some, it's, it's freaky, man. It's freaky. It's freaky deaky, okay? And it's our favorite type of content. And we love our website members. They're fucking twisted They're our legends. Family. They're our family. And, you know, we family. got some exciting shit happening with the website. We got the, up, the website, the new one coming very That's soon. That's exciting. Plus, oh, I better not say it. Okay. We might be getting other content creators to start making content for it as well. Maybe. And I don't want to mention names, but we are gonna Jackass is involved. Netflix. We want to turn our university into like the Netflix of degenerates. We want no, not degenerates. I would say the best men in the world and yeah, women, full of scientists and crazy brave men and women. Yeah, people that are, are willing to do the shit you are not willing to shit. People who don't give a shit about what anyone thinks about them. That this this is, and that's the sponsors. I cut myself off. Yeah, no, I liked it because it's too epic. And it's just like crazy to do that. I yeah. cut myself off. <laughs> yeah, no one does that. No one has ever done that. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Oh, fuck. We are on fire. fire. Wow, you added to me. Anyway. Sorry. Anyway. All right. Let's get through the fucking on this days and all that dumb shit. And I'll fuck you, cunt. I can see James's family. On this day. Yeah, James's um, family is currently having um, dinner. dinner next door. <laughs> By the way, so the screaming segment, we'll have to take a rain check and yeah. we'll do it next week. Okay? We're going to do it next week. All right. On this day in 1997, Tom Hanks skinned mice as a hobby. He would catch them and drown them by swallowing them whole, then drinking a large amount of water. The mice would drown in his stomach, then he would vomit them back up. Then he would skin them with nothing but his fingernails. He would make little skins, dry them, and then use them as gloves. When he had enough skins, he even made an entire blanket out of them, but unfortunately he had to throw it out because it kept giving his wife skin infections. Did you know he went on the <laughs> island? Jeffrey Epstein Island? Well, that's, you know, if he's skin and mice. Makes sense. Yeah, I watched um, somebody do a video on that. Tom he, Hanks? Yeah, his name was named as someone who was on the island. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's a good bloke. By the way, the lying to Lockie segment. Let me just fill you guys in quickly because yes. I feel like we're getting close to go time. <sighs> okay, so Monique, my beautiful, 
partner this early this week um she sells cactuses on the side right and Lockie, um what 640 yeah and she, and um she, Lockie bought a cactus from her like last week and she only told me about it at the beginning of this week and i was like this is perfect this is what we can use for lying to Lockie. so she so she so i told her to tell Lockie, tell him that the delivery guy is coming thursday night which is right now Okay, so Lockie is expecting a call from the deliver the cactus delivery guy in about twenty minutes. So we're gonna maybe even get James in here to do a, to do a special voice, just so he definitely won't recognise us. We'll get Lockie to come outside of his house. The fucking idiot! Oh god, and then he'll be spring. exercising for no reason. Although, <laughs> although <laughs> dumb. Although Lo- Mon did say that he might not be home until eight, so it might be a bit early. But we'll see. Either way, oh, like. But he's going to answer. He's going to use anyway. speech that he doesn't want to use. Yeah, he's going to yeah. be using professional speech, like when you call me and I'm like, "Oh awesome. man, it's going to be." Cool. It's going to be sly la la. Oh, <laughs> sly la la. So anyway, that's that's the latest with the lying to Lockie. We'll see how we go. We'll give it like another twenty minutes, and yes. we'll give him a fucking call. All right, let's move right along to Michael's Bible. And this is a segment where Michael has recorded all of his inner thoughts, all of the networking in his brain has sprouted these words. And they are so wise that Buddha is a cunt. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I channel him sometimes. Well, Buddha's a cunt. He's like, no, he, he has been. Yeah. People. He's been known. He's been he's, known. He's fat. Okay. He's, yeah. And so Michael has taken the role of Beezus. It's Jesus, but B. So Beezus. And he will now read. This is chapter 2022, which is quite relevant. Hear is ear, but with a H added, and you hear with your ear. Therefore, shouldn't eyes be highs or something like that because of the H or something? The number 123 is like saying 123, sort of. If you can't, then just remove the T and you can. See? Cable TV is shit. By the way, you will all own nothing and you'll be happy. Sorry. It's true. Everything I said is true. I believe you. Yeah, cable TV is shit. It is. Yeah, so it shit. doesn't belong in it, does it? No. It's, it's outdated. Even, yeah, sorry. It's growing hairs. <coughs> All right. Landscape, 20% off. All right, guys. Um, we're going to have a quick bong break. And then um, when we return, it's time for the darkest segment. Hey, I can't remember who it is. I'm so sorry. But they want us Asshole. to, they keep asking to do a in unison bong break. Is that possible? Yeah, of course we can. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Bong break. God, really? What? What do you mean, what? What? Look, my heart's beating a million miles a minute because it's time for the black book. <laughs> oh, this is where shit gets good. This is like it's the most disgusting. Um, fucking look, I hate, I hate it. Um, and uh, yeah, a bit of a recap. So, um, Matt went to um have his twin brother. Um, it turns Revenge. out. A revenge have uh, turns out that Matt's mother was there who surprise attacked him and ended up bashing his fucking head in uh, with a baseball bat or whatever it was so uh, Matt died and you vividly remember going to hell is that right oh yeah you don't ever forget aren't we in hell right now sorry I hope so All right. here we go so Matt's just woken up in hell. First day in hell. <clears throat> if you're ready. Oh. 
Number 61. Oh, Dad. Dad's around me. I looked around hell and couldn't believe what I was seeing. Flames everywhere. Through the flames, I would see things. I saw a skinned baby being rolled in salt. I saw a man vomiting up a corpse, legs first. I watched two men having their eyelids cut off with scissors by a half-human, half-walrus creature. I watched a demon injecting maggots into the bloodstream of a screaming real estate agent. The heat was overwhelming. Get up, Matt Brown! We've been looking forward to meeting you, said the demon. The creature speaking, speaking to me had the body and legs of a fat pig and seven human arms. Its head was a goat. Did I really die? Afraid so, Matt Brown. But don't worry. Hell's a different place for people as evil as you are. What do you mean? You're a VIP, Matt Brown. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place ain't so bad. I followed this pig goat creature. My skin went bright pink from the heat. We walked through hell, and people everywhere were being tortured in the most gruesome ways. My little brown was slithering around in my pants, wanting to play. I was led to a large, dirty castle. The goat creature opened the door, and then the music hit my ears. Aussie hip-hop was loudly playing, and there was a mix of hundreds of people and creatures dancing and fucking and partying together. It was a huge room with incredibly high ceilings. There was a bar, and lots of crazy lighting. Welcome to VIP Hell, Matthew Brown! Hey, everyone! The music stopped and everyone turned to us. Look who's finally joined us! It's Matthew Gregory Brown! The whole place erupted with cheering and a bunch of the people and creatures ran over to welcome me. Oh, Matt, we've heard so much about your work. You're a fucking madman, Matt. Is that the baby whale fucker? Such a warm welcome. I felt like I truly belonged. Is that fucking Matty Brown, cunt? I recognize that voice and through the crowd I see a familiar face. Julian, what are you doing here? Ha <laughs> ha you! You know me, can't I just get around? I've got a fair few of me mates down here, so I come here for benders on weekends and that. <laughs> Wait, you can leave hell whenever you want? Yeah, fucking no, I can't. I'm a fucking demon, cunt. Don't tell anyone, bud. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, um, what you called? Uh, what you fucking call it? I fucking, um, travel between, like, um, dimensions and shit. Special demon power given to us straight from Satan. <laughs> you, you. That's incredible. How does one become a demon? <laughs> you don't become a demon, man. Demons are born demons. Demons like, um, what's it called? Like Satan's, um, kids come. Yeah, he's pretty much more dad, isn't that? So, you're saying I can never, I can never leave? Cunt, fuck no, cunt. But what would you want to fucking leave, bud? It's fucking sick here, cunt. Heaps shit if you aren't VIP, but with all the shit you've done up there, you're set for life down here, cunt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you're saying for me there's no downsides to being in hell if you're a VIP? No, you just fuck, fucking party, party all day and all, cunt. Oh, but there is one shit thing that even VIPs have to do. But it's only once a day, and it's only, even for you guys, but it's only once a day, it's nothing. Well, what is it? You have to let Satan fuck you to death in the most gruesome, horrible, horrifying, extremely painful way imaginable. But then you die and you just wake up here again and keep partying. <laughs> the rack in here is safe, you can't. I can get you something if you want. Do you want a line? So every day I can party non-stop, but then be fucked to death by Satan. Yeah, right, it's non-stop partying. And then you get, just get killed once. Like, just once. Just once a day. I'm pretty good mates with Satan. I could tell him to go easy on you if you want. So he gets to have me. Every day. For eternity. Yeah, 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 but did you hear what I said about the parties and that? It's a fucking sick deal. Yeah. Thanks, Julian. Yeah! Yo, I'll catch you around, okay? I'll go dark web pingers too if you want. Just come back. Just come back to me if you want dark web pingers, come. Julian left and my reality was sinking in. I would spend my days in hell and get fucked to death every day by the most evil creature in existence. That's not good. I watch the VIPs dancing and doing drugs. I can't live like this. I don't party. I stalk, hunt, and have. I had to find a way out of hell. Then I heard screaming from the other side of the room. Satan appeared. He was flying above everyone and had a massive erection. He was pointing at people and creatures in the crowd and they would start screaming immediately. He was about to start having. He flew down cock first and shattered the skull of a VIP. He flew back up and power vomited skin on the crowd below. The VIP shrieked and ran for cover. Then he looked straight at me. My heart stopped. 
Mr. Brown, what a pleasant surprise. Satan himself was addressing me. I was frozen in horror as Satan drifted over to me. His erection was throbbing, and I could hear it. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. It twitched with every knob beat. Nice of you to finally join us down here. N -n -n nice, nice to meet you, Mr. Satan. Please, Matt, call me Lucifer. He landed next to me and started circling me. He ran his long, hard finger along my soft, pink skin. He looked exactly as you would imagine, a huge red monster with horns and yellow eyes and teeth, and one massive, thick, devil dick. Even my little brown was shaking in fear at the sight of it. You're already infamous down here, Mr. Brown. The most VIP of a VIP. But as I'm sure you're aware, as much good work as it did on Earth, this is hell, and I've got a reputation to uphold. Satan grabs my ass, and I feel his fingers pierce my ass cheeks like a hot knife through butter. I flinch, but I don't dare make a sound. Satan leant forward and whispered in my ear, I'm going to enjoy having the greatest haver in history. He licked my neck. Then he addressed the crowd. Shall I have Mr. Brown in front of you all? Shall I take out all of my have energy into this one have and spare everyone else on one have just this day? The VIPs immediately started screaming and cheering. Have Matt Brown! Have Matt Brown! <laughs> the chant started. The crowd has spoken, Matthew Brown. I closed my eyes. Then I feel Satan bite into my shoulder and rip a large chunk of flesh off like it was nothing. The pain was indescribable. I start screaming, but Satan jams his whole hand down my throat. I feel him grab a hold of my tonsil and rip them out like band-aids. I drop to my knees and Satan grabs either side of my head. Then he forcefully slams his huge devil dick into my mouth. It snaps all of my teeth out and breaks my jaw on impact. The devil then starts fucking my stretched open mouth and my mouth skin starts tearing along my cheek as the devil's dick expands. The devil then moves his thumbs over my eyes and presses them deep into my skull. I lose vision and the pain is making me lose consciousness. He presses my eyes deep into my skull while still powerfully fucking my head. Here we Go, Brown! Screams the devil. Satan makes sure that I don't fully lose consciousness so that I can still feel everything. Then it happens. The devil begins ejaculating. His devil juice shot out and collided with the back of my throat. It was burning me and the smell was putrid. I kept jetting it. It kept jetting out of his dick and started burning a hole through the back of my head. The searing pain made me panic and I lash out, but the devil was far too strong. The hot, hot cum jet broke through the back of my skull and the devil pulled my head first further onto his dick. His dick continued through the hole and my uh, through through the hole in my skull and his hot cum had just made. My my head was now threaded through his entire dick. <sighs> The devil finally retracted his dick and let my body collapse to the floor. I knew I was moments from death, but as I bled out from my injuries, the last thing I remember is feeling the devil pissing on my back as I died and everyone <laughs> laughing. <laughs> then pop! I woke up in the exact spot I'd just woken up when I arrived. I need to get out of here. <laughs> you pissed on your back as you died? Aww. Oh man, it's not a bad deal though. Partying oh. for the rest of your life without consequence. Nah, that is. It wasn't as bad as it uh, sounded. What's wrong? No, there's not. What? There's a copy. No, we haven't even been screaming at all. There's a copy. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Nah. <laughs> nah. Bachelor Brown! Don't worry. It's Bachelor Brown! We'll it's pay Bachelor. For it. We'll pay for it, Matt. Don't worry, Matt. We'll pay for it. Just enjoy it, Matt. <laughs> Just enjoy it, Matt. Matt, come on. Come on, let's make some room for our friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Just a little bit of a dance for the brown. It's Bachelor of Brown, Brown. Yeah, don't worry, man. We'll pay for it. It's we'll all good. Just it's enjoy beautiful. it. <laughs> <laughs>
from a distance. <laughs> For everyone listening and while watching, there is a policeman has just come in and started dancing for Brown. And yes, this is the Bachelorette we organised for today. Yeah, come on, give me some. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is on us, Matt Brown. This is on us, brother. I heard that devil. Yeah. 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 This is on us, Matt. This is on Come on, Matty! Slap that ass, Matt! Slap that ass, Matty Brown! This is for you, Matt Brown! This is for single you! Come on, Brown! At least look him in the eyes! This is for you! Come on, Brown! This is Bachelor Brown tonight! This is Bachelor Brown! This is the best Bachelor Brown we've ever had! We found the one! We found the one! Maybe. Oh, very fucking good. Very, very good, dude. Oh. <laughs> Look at that fucking rig on it. Holy yeah, shit. Turn around rig. and show the camera. That is crazy rig. Oh, man. Very, very good. All right, so as you... <laughs> As you're probably aware, we just come and come and have a seat in the middle here, dude, because oh. we got a little task for you oh, yeah. after this. So, as you're probably aware, everyone, oh. Bachelor Brown, <laughs> we um, hired a male stripper to come and give Brown a bit of excitement and to <laughs> something to go home with mentally. So you can go home now, Matt, and you can enjoy whatever thoughts you have about Dom. Is it? It is Dom. Dom. Of course it's Dom, because that's what he doesn't use when he's fucking everything that moves. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, this is for you. You're welcome. Uh, like, I know, obviously, Dom isn't a potential partner, but at the very least, it gets you excited. He's it gets hot. You like, it's a good rig. Oh, yeah. you're the best looking one so far. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. oh, very good, Dom. Oh. Very fucking good, man. I was like, I thought you guys were gonna come in. I was like trying to stall, but before the black book, because I was like, I, I saw the flag, uh, like, I saw the lights go, I saw the flash of hair go past. I was like, <laughs> what did you think that? when James I said no the cops idea. were here? We went up the oh, did you? I saw. It. Oh, okay, it might just be me. It would have been a cat. It would have been a cat wearing yeah. a suit. What did you did you believe James when he said the cops were here? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. He's so a good, good. actor. Oh. But then as soon as I saw the vest, I was like, "That's." The <laughs> what about the music? Imagine if cops always played that song, even when for fucking like when they went to the fucking murders? raid murders houses and shit. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, oh. Dom, we've got I, another task yeah, for you, yeah, though. Dom, I don't know. I don't know okay. if you listen to the podcast, but we got a mate that we lie to every oh, yeah. week. Okay, okay. So, so the goal is every week to lie to Lockie. Okay, that's yep. a, the name of the segment. And now I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in on, on the lie this week. So my partner is selling him a cactus. Okay, so he's mm -hmm. bought a cactus. My partner told him early in the week that it's going to get delivered tonight. Uh -huh. Right now, it's, it's getting delivered. So he's expecting a phone call from the cactus delivery guy. Okay, so if, if, if you're up for it, we use, do you have a phone here with you? I do. Yeah, so we use your phone because he doesn't have your number saved. Yep. If that's okay, we'll call him off your phone. And your name's Juan. Juan. And you're here with the cat. <laughs> you're at the front of his house with his cactus. So you're going to lead him out of his house and just say like... So all you have all to right, do is literally just say... Um, all, all you have to do is say, uh, um, hey man, it's Juan here. Um, I'm just out the front. Um, do you want me to leave the cactus somewhere? Or, or, yeah, or just say, oh, hey man, I'm out the front. And then go from there. All we need him to do is just believe it. So and as soon we'll as he believes it... Yeah, yeah, and just, yeah, like, long, just be like, can you lead him out to the house? Oh, yeah, yeah, just be like, oh, what, 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 like, what yeah. do you mean? Like, I'm just the front is the white fence, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, and then when he's hooked in, then we'll jump in. Like, this will only be, be like, thirty seconds. I'm fucking yeah. cunt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, do you want to get your phone? Grab my phone. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So, lying to Lockie now. Should we merge the calls? Sorry about that, man. Dude, we were meant to have Isla here to, to to. I don't want that either. To to numb That's the blow a bit. He, he really had worked. a fucking good rig. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> you, should, oh, you should have touched it. I did. I was holding it you back. Didn't, he didn't enjoy it enough, Matt. But no, that was I an ex that was an, ex it. that was an expensive we, and joke. We paid for it. Yeah, see, you guys waste money sometimes. Dude, that is not a waste of money. That is a grand scheme of things planned. Imagine yeah, if he was the one. You never know. Oh, he is number one. That's definitely the best one you've brought. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Dude, you know how stressful it's been? You're fucking, oh, I'm coming over later now. I had to fucking reorganize Squeeze everything. <laughs> yeah, I was running away. All right, here we go. This is lucky. This is lucky. Here we go.
Oh, get out there, matey. It's uh, Juan here with your uh, cactus. So I'm delivering it to you this evening. My housemate's home, so I'll tell him to come grab it when you, when you leave it there. You, I'll leave it at the front steps. Yep, oh, yep. I'm, I'm not allowed to leave these packages at the front steps. Oh, okay, one sec. Let me get my housemate. If you just knock, I'll tell him. Oh, let me get him out. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, he should be coming out in any minute. Oh, yeah. um, is it is it the is it the house with the with the white fence, the red brick? Um, no, it's got like a it's got, got a silver sort of car in the driveway. Yeah, it's got a, it's got two it's got two um it's got a silver car in the driveway. Um, oh yeah, wait a second, I'm just walking down. Let me just I must be just up the road from it. Oh yeah, yeah. 60, I think the, the front light should be on. Yeah, yeah, silver car, and I can see the lights on. Yep, yep. Yeah, so what so was, place on the car. Cool. What was your uh what was your mate's name? Just so I know that uh, I've Aiden. the Aiden. Oh, okay, yeah, excellent. He should, hopefully, hopefully you should be coming out in a minute. Yeah, well, guess what, Lockie? You've been fucking lied to, cunt! No this is a kidding. fucking lie! You are <laughs> fucking <laughs> idiot, Lockie! <laughs> that is fucked up, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we you fucking hate you all week, cunt! All week we fucking hate you, cunt! That is fucking dog shit, cunt. <laughs> There is no cactus <laughs> delivery! You dumb dickhead <laughs> shit! I'm messaging Aiden, he's waiting out the front for the fucking dude! <laughs> 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 Oh, oh fucking hell, Loggy. Awesome. <laughs> Who was just talking then? Dude, a male stripper that we got on for Bachelor Brown. Oh my god, what the fuck whose voice is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's a fucking that male strippers, can you believe it, mate? Holy shit. That is fucked up, that was fuck, oh my, that, that was me, that one caught me fully off guard. <laughs> 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 anyway, um, Mon will deliver the cactus, I think, tomorrow or the next day. Uh, thank you very much for supporting your little cactus business. You're a good friend, and I'm sorry that I keep lying to you, okay? <laughs> that is all good, mate. That is absolutely fine. Oh, oh. Anyway, we'll waste your time again later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, mate, I'll see you. I'll see you next week, eh? Hey? Same time. <laughs> you won't know it though. Oh, fuck, <laughs> any, any see you, dude. Gets. See you, lucky. Oh, mate. Bye. Yeah, ciao. Any cool gets <laughs> on a Wednesday now. Well, this is Thursday today. Oh, man. We're usually a Wednesday. I'm so so. glad that that's over. You did very well. Uh, (laughs) Dom did good. Good thinking on the feet to keep him on the fucking line for a bit longer. Very Mm. good. All right, Dom, that's it, man. That's all we wanted you for, dude. Thank you so much. (laughs) We might get a few fucking um, chick viewers now. We should get a photo because that's probably... Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, we'll get a... uh, Is that okay? A quick bong break, everyone. A quick bong break. Um, I'll just use that... And we're back. <coughs> so, <coughs> look, I've got, okay. So Michael's not going to eat anymore. After yes, seeing fucking that hell! Boys, wow, boys, why we were just ha- why we were just having our bong break? Um, J- Jackson messaged me. He said, "Lockie has been talking about this cactus for a week. He was so excited." <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite so far. He wouldn't stop telling everyone he's getting a sick cactus. <laughs> what a dickhead! <laughs> Who the fuck says that? And then Lockie message very, very impressive. That was very good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, thank that you, makes Mon. Me thank so you, happy. Mon, for fucking yeah. Like, if <laughs> Mon wasn't selling him a cactus, it would have been hard. But oh, we well, what's got the him. P- wait? <laughs> um, fucking, uh, fucking. There we. That's that's it. All right, look, we want to. We've seen a few uh, calls for the German segment to come back. It will. So, if I'm going to comment as Marty and Michael on this podcast German segment, if that gets a hundred likes, we'll start it up again next week. All right. We know Nikki's put in a lot of hard work and we really appreciate that. Don't worry, Nikki. 
we have not forgotten. We have those pieces of paper and we will use them. Okay. And we love you. Yeah. Thank you very much for doing that. It would have taken days. But anyway. Matt, let's hit some questions downtown. And if you want us to answer your fucking questions, all you have to do is comment a question on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. Do you want to and do the, cow first? Sorry. Sorry to break your stride. And the ones who get the most likes are the ones we answer first. Okay? So comment your question and then have a scroll through and like the other questions that you want us to answer. What did you fucking say, Matt? Uh, do you want to do <laughs> cow first? <laughs> All right, fuck it. We'll do the cow first, which is the comment of the week. And this is where Matt just has just picked a random comment that he really <laughs> likes. And if you win this, by the way, you're in the running for $1,000 at the end of the season. <laughs> That's a separate comment competition. There's two of them. That's crazy news, dick. You're so stoned right now. <laughs> How can you tell? The eyes are just beaming. <laughs> just laughing. At all he's seeing is bodies and murder. Anyway, okay. so yeah, right. comment heaps, I guess, is what we're saying. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. I Sorry. love reading the comments. Comment reading the podcast. Some of them are so funny. So I li- sit there high sometimes, pissing myself laughing, and Mon sits up. She's like, what are you fucking laughing at? You're keeping me away, cunt. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that word that, too. Oh, that yeah, deep. yeah, yeah. And she strokes her beard like that. What's up? Oh, nothing. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, comment of the week went to Adam. 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 Yeah, it's Adam. Goff. Goff. Gottfried. We got you, Gottfried. Don't you forget, you dick. Adam Goff got free. Um, and his sorry. comment, uh, his uh, sorry, his cow, his comment of the week winner was, you guys have ruined ice cream for me. Uh, and he's referring to a website video where we um, wanted to see if you if you eat ice cream, vomit it back up, refreeze it, and then eat it again if it, ta- if it holds its flavor. And if ice cream, yeah, you can just eat ice cream You soak forever. a bit of the sugar up into your body because everyone was complaining that there was like, oh, corn's not enough. We want something better. They wanted a dessert. Mark so was referring gave- to the corn video where we ate corn, shut it out, ate it again, proving that you don't need to buy lots of food. Just buy corn. So you can s- we Limitless. solve starvation right there, but we've gone the extra mile and made a perk with dessert. Anyway, all of these videos are on our website. Obviously, we can't post that shit to social media. Hit us with some questions, can't? Sorry? Sorry. Sorry. Um, all right, top question went to Stephen Hunt. Um, could we... Uh, so, will we get another diary entry from Julian Woods ever? He has missed them and he's wondering if they're going to return. How many likes does that have? I got 73. All right, fucking, I'll ask him, all right? I promise I'll ask him. I can't guarantee that he'll be back next week. Well, he did I'll ask make him. an appearance in the Black Book. Yeah, so... So how odd dude, is that? that? Was, we didn't even talk about yeah, that, fuck. by the way. What, you, what do you, you mean, went? what? Julian is in hell with you and you've never mentioned that to us? It just happened. You just expected that we should know that about Julian, that he's a demon. It kind of makes sense. It's now. not up to me to tell personal things about people. No, yeah. You're right. I, I respect that. So he's your friend too. When he wants to reveal things about his personal life to you, he will do it. Do you reckon he'll be pissed off that we've read that? It is what it is. Fuck no! Uh, he, he's he's warm. He's warm yeah, blooded. Yeah, well, yeah. Like so yeah, so hot sometimes. Must be because he comes up from the. Must have just been down hell. recently. Elevator oh, slow. Hot. Sorry. Demon. Sorry. All right, that was the top question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember the question. Oh, he's just wondering if uh, if we can get some diary yeah, look, entries back. That's look, right. if that's what the people want, Sorry. I'll ask Julian. Okay, we'll see. Fly? Fly. Fly, fly. Uh Next question is from um, Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. See, smoking right before questions is so difficult because each question takes so long <laughs> because you'll make a little sound and he will lose a little his mind. Sound. Next question. <laughs> it was from Egypt. All right. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, that was good though. You got to admit that. that I went was... there once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went inside the pyramid. Oh, anyway, oh, you oh, had oh, the pyramid. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <sighs> um, it's from D Coda. Oh. Um, uh, when Lockie is eventually institutionalized, that's a big word. Who else could you lie to? Who else are we going to get on as lying? We're going to lie to Jackson. Are we going to lie to 
Maitland? Are we going to lie to other people? Um, look, we have, I haven't even thought that far ahead. Let's just let's just get him into therapy first. It's a it's a we're a long hard <laughs> yeah, road ahead of us. The goal where we to make him question therapy. his own reality. We're going to make the therapist eventually lie to him. <laughs> yeah, that's the end goal with this. We want to convince him that he's not he, locked. He's not locked. And then we'll come out from behind the curtains all clapping and be like, dude, this has all been a big joke, man. Just relax. It's all good. <laughs> I'm not Loki. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not Loki? <laughs> and, then, and then he'll be like real, real relieved. He'll be like, oh, thank God. And then we'll retract back into where we came from. <laughs> like it is real <laughs> Straight down <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That was real That was a lie And then we'll go down the floor <laughs> oh. I wish that was um, Okay uh, Holy right. shit Next question is from uh. Long Neck German mm. And he asked uh, Muddy and Michael What is the worst thing You have ever done as a kid Slash teenager What's the worst thing you've ever done? Probably know what you've done as an adult, but as a Did kid. some pretty gross things with bullying. Yeah. But- um, Like I was mean to my sister once and oh. I scratched her in the face when I was a little kid and I cut deep. My mum thought I scarred her and she came at me with a wooden spoon hardcore. I killed a whole like family of birds. You monster. <laughs> I don't know. Bare no, hands. I but not. like they weren't born yet. I just flipped the nest. I didn't flip the nest. Oh. I will say someone else, but I was telling them to flip the nest. We're going to get too much hate for that. No, no, but no. we recovered. We were as a kid. I didn't know it any better. Mm. Then I, we felt bad for accidentally flipping the nest. We just wanted to see what was in the nest. Did you blame it on someone else? So a friend, I won't name him, he jumped up and like he, I made him climb. I didn't make him. And then he, I told him to flip it and he flipped it. And I was like, oh my God, what have we done? I think we were like year one. Oh, so you're super young. And then I was like, fuck, let's go like cook them. Let's cook them. So what we eggs. did, we felt bad about flipping the nest, realizing that all these little birds are like, yeah, and they're like, well, like, fuck, we got to save them. So then we told every neighbor house to like every house consecutive until one answered saying it was some teenagers. And then we saved one bird's life. Fuck, that's a horror story. What did you do? Um, uh, one of my friends once burnt down a public toilet. You know, was witness to that. Really? In, in Clifton? Yeah. yeah. Well, not the whole toilet, just the the, the seat, the cubicle. Lit that's lit. not that bad. Yeah, and then well, what else was there? I just I, killed was, like heaps of birds. Did a lot of little naughty things. I don't think there was one. Oh, dude, I reckon the... F the the bike on the train tracks. Oh is yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, some of the bullying things. <laughs> Leaving kids' bikes on train tracks. <laughs> oh fuck! Me and Henry you were, you know, year eight, nine were very destructive at friends' house parties. We would we w wouldn't get invited anymore, and when, then we'd be upset at them for not inviting us. <laughs> like, Obviously, they're not going to invite us because we just fucking destroy their houses. Because it's funny to only me and Henry. Everyone else is like. Dude, like, just do you stop. remember, like, do you remember that dude's house? We won't name him, but we like his parents would always forgive you. Oh yeah, Matt, yo, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I fucking love yo, man. We love going to his house, <clears throat> and like his family, like you know, really successful butcher chain of butchers, and man, we would just be like, yo, we're coming over. Like, nah, fuck off, don't, nah, nah, fuck off, and then we'd rock up at his house, go straight to his dad's sports memorabilia room. <laughs> And just get fucked up on his alcohol that he had there. How old were you? Like, this is like 15, 14. Dude, they oh, like God. had an egg fight in the pool room, went <laughs> all over the pool table. Oh, I think curtains. I've heard that story, yeah. Then and, like, I remember when I, remember, I, I was, came, I kept trying pissing to, everywhere yeah, in the room. We just pissed everywhere. And I kept, kept trying to open the beer bowls on the, on the bar. Dude, and no, that was when they moved. The wood off. That was when they moved in. No, no, dude, place. I did that everywhere at Yo's. I would always chip the wood off with oh. beer bottles. Like I remember <laughs> they just moved house and it's like this new it was what not one I chip was. had been put in the bar yet. And I remember him just going, Michael <laughs> then, Dude, giggle. Was, then that night when everyone went to bed, we were just swinging glasses around, like and, and pretending I'd, to be oh, crazy, yeah. but then accidentally did let go of the glass and it just shattered this table. And we're just standing there like going, Oh my god, we just shattered a whole glass table. Not to mention we was pissing in our friends' fridges whenever whenever anyone had gone to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is fucked what was uh, wrong with you dude i don't know i don't know why we had the need to be so destructive and cunty when we were like 14 15 like there was no thought of 
consequence. It was always like, what's going to make us laugh? Nothing else mattered. Yeah, that's true, I guess. <laughs> oh, now, man. Now it's just anyone that's not your friends you destroy. Yeah, exactly. Now yeah, we just lie to Lockie. It's different now. <laughs> now we just lie to Lockie. We just lie to Lockie and that's our relief. Yeah, yeah, you and pissing in strange places. I remember going on road trip with you and you just, we got to every place we stayed. Like, I remember we went to a motel and you just immediately pissed <laughs> On the floor, like right in the Dude, middle of the room. Cons- like. Every overseas, he'd just go straight to the corner of the new like hostel that we're at. Yeah, bang, piss. We got kicked out of Melbourne. We got kicked out of Melbourne because you let Henry know that it's your on room. a bouncer. Yeah, Henry out, pissed oh. out the window, and it what happened to be on the bouncer down downstairs, like three stories below us. And he came <laughs> bursting in the room, and he's like, "Get out, get out!" And we're like, "What, what, what, what happened? What happened?" He's like, "Why don't you use piss on me?" <laughs> Then we had to sleep in the streets. Yeah, we slept in at Federation Square just on the ground. <laughs> so cold. Very oh, good. Man, so many people in the morning. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, very good. But holy shit. When you're a kid, holy. We did some weird shit. Yeah. I, I, we still do do weird shit. It's just a different version. Yeah, it's just not as... It's like it's yeah. from disrespectful to like just... I don't know. It's hard to explain. We're not as disrespectful. We have, we have more empathy and we have like, we consider others now. <laughs> Whereas we, before it, we, we didn't, if, if it made us one person laugh, just like not even time, a lot of people, just one person laugh, we do it. A wheelie pin going down. Yeah, see, that's the, and that could potentially kill someone. That was more your adult <laughs> status. But, exactly but, but we knew the people next to us would think it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> and then I still remember the girls scream as the, as it picked up speed and, and noise. <laughs> <laughs> we live in flying down this really steep hill. Oh my oh. god, dude! If anyone was there, I really want to hear a comment from someone who was down. In Imagine there. if that, like, if put made someone paraplegic and they're hearing this, like, that's who did it, and then they come after us, and then we have to. Did go Did you to hear jail. a bang? Oh no! Well, we would have. We found started out running if you killed immediately. Someone. Our friends were still at the party. But yeah, as well. I, I remember. Oh, you would have known if you killed the someone. Fuck but, the oh. risks you take. Oh. <laughs> for a laugh, though, you know, it's just for a laugh. Kidnap a cunt. <laughs> Kidnap a cunt. <laughs> fucking take him into the woods. <laughs> We've done that too. That's what I mean. That wasn't for a laugh, though. That was just for money. Yeah. He I mean, said you could do it. Literally, I literally didn't laugh about that until we started telling other people. Like, I was just like so annoyed. I was like, yeah. And then he fucking ran off. It's like, that I wasn't, didn't think that that was funny at all. But looking oh. back, that is, that is one of the greatest stories. I couldn't believe it. I still, oh, for ages, I thought it was yeah, bullshit. That was a story. Show me the photo. Uh, yeah, exactly. And I knew, yeah. I, I knew, I was like, I need to take a photo of this. No one's going to fucking believe me. And that's a story you tell your friends. No one laughs. They're like, dude, like, are you Everyone all right? Everyone was worried about yeah, it. Everyone's real like, bad. It's like, yeah. it, like, is everything all right, man? Like, are you like working too hard or something? Like, everyone's really <laughs> just genuinely concerned for our well being. Dude, I just love. I just wish I was there just to see the rage when you had the tennis racket in your hand. Yeah, it was. Like I could it was a picture been a your rage. <laughs> oh, dude, I fuck. I thought we were going to go to prison for life. Oh, but you're going to kill that man. Yeah, imagine. Well, that could have happened. That was definitely a Mr. Bourne story. Should have killed happened. him. I should have killed him. In that state of mind, we were so so hammered with Valiums in you. Mm. You're just like, oh. But then lucky we sobered up. By the time you didn't that, kill him. The time that that happened, though, we had sobered up pretty hard. Like, I was very like, this just, is so dumb. We can't not do this now. Anyway, uh, move on. Let's money. move on. This uh, is, money will do. Next question is from William. Uh, are you guys going to sell, uh, sell or auction the Browns podcast baby that I always have in my hand? I, I guess we can do. If there's a huge demand for it, then hell yeah. But, mm. like, yeah, I don't even touch it anymore because of stains. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, brown tears. Next question is from Mr. Garconi. Garconi? Garconi? Um, how did you guys get the idea for the game show host and where did Marty find the orange suit? What do you mean? I didn't... The, oh, the game show host guy? Yeah, yeah, he's... um. Where'd you find him? We should get him on well, the he's podcast. He's just a guy that randomly started appearing in your life, right? If no one knows what we're talking... Oh, yes. Yes, James. Yes, James. Yes, James. Perfect timing. It's Pinoir. Such a beautiful little glass too. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, wow. Holy fuck, that is very good. Matt Brown. Try some. No, okay. Oh yeah, that is very good. You're so refined on the podcast. 
<laughs> it's a wine tasting now. We're cultured. All right, next question is from- No, wait, well, there was something. <laughs> what was it? Uh, where did you um, meet the game show host? Oh, the, the game show host. Yeah. Mm. The, um, and do you know where he got his suit from? So if no one knows what we're talking about, there's a guy um, who does videos with Michael on our backup page, University of Michael. He's like a weird character. Um, and yeah, he just pops up every now and then and um, we film it and- release it as content he's struggling financially you reckon, I reckon. I, i've so, sensed that from what i've gathered i've been there yeah, he's a very strange man anyway let's not talk about it. i don't want him showing up next question is from caleb king um can you rank the australian states from best to worst <laughs> that that has likes a couple or oh, i'd rather cut it yeah same uh connor <laughs> cut that question <laughs> what a weird question Fucking Queensland uh, number one, cunt. Oh, 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 fucking New South Wales down the fucking bottom, cunt. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tasmania number deuce. <laughs> oh, see, that's good. ACT that, number dry. Yeah, I'll go ACT. We got fucking Perth number four, cunt. <laughs> that's the Western Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same shit. Same exact shit. And that's it. Yeah, there's no other. <laughs> <laughs> or there's territories. And it's the like, Indian Sea yeah, or the, the Indiana a, Ocean. A territory's the same as the states. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? The Indian Ocean. <laughs> you know how hard that is to explain to Esther when it's like, oh, yeah, how many states are there? Oh, these are the states, but that's a territory. She's like, oh, well, what's like, why is that a territory? So, uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's just called a territory. And there's one in the middle of the fucking New South Wales too, the I, ACT. I just what's tell her to Google that? it. Fucking... What the fucking territory? Shut up, Australia. <laughs> so fucking weird. Uh, Connor, can you cut us saying we're going to cut it and then, but then leave? I reckon we leave all of that in. in. Yeah. Okay. Even this deliberation right now. Okay. Uh, no, so, it's very Whatever good. you reckon, Connor, you just, just make it as funny as what you know it can be, Come. Next question is from Zach Jeanette. Um, um, how did you guys meet the Cracker Milk gang? Oh, speaking of. Um, Connor... He, when Michael and I had our little production <laughs> fucking, when we first started making videos, Connor was also making videos and yeah, we just met each other through um, content creation and he just happened to have, Connor had just happened to have a super fucked up sense of humor like we do. And we He's just, a funny guy. And we just clicked and then fucking boom, boom, boom. And now they're fucking, and that was before Marty and Michael, that was before Cracker Milk. And now look, now we're all making videos for a living. But yeah, go on support Cracker Milk if you haven't already. Cracker Milk on YouTube. Very We've actually funny, been in some sketches. of their vids. Yeah, very funny short sketches. Have you watched the latest, mate? Oh no, I don't support my friends. I just sit at home and watch porn. Um, it's a vampire one. I've watched more Cracker Milk than I have your website. Anyway, moving on. So funny. <laughs> That's pretty mean. <laughs> <laughs> we just fucking got you a stripper. See how Lockie. What mates get mate yeah. strippers? See how, good Lockie, mates. see how Lockie supports um, Mon by buying a cactus. Anyway. Actually, no, I was considering buying a cactus from her. I like cactuses. You don't like our videos. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Next question is from Barmo underscore UK. Uh, have you guys been watching the Commonwealth Games? No. No way. Oh, look, it's. it's it's, it's a cheap it's if it's a, it's, it's on it's on and it's yeah. yeah it's not the olympics though i oh. oh if there was golf on i'd look at it for a bit and then like keep walking keep walking around, <laughs> around the house <laughs> glance at the screen around the house that you're thinking about living in it's michael it's homeless at the moment next yeah. question is from um fucking dog um <laughs> <laughs> fuck um, dog come can you boys put the animated brown video on your twitter account Oh, that's a great idea. Fucking dear, dude. Yes, we can. That's a great idea. Remind me to do that at the end. Also, it's on our... Um, oh, yeah. So Twitter, Marty and Michael, obviously. No, we can't. We can't. Why? <laughs> I'm Michael's sorry. making a stand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck it. All right, we're not putting oh. it on our Twitter, guys. Michael's feels passionately about this, and it's just on our OnlyFans, okay? OnlyFans, fully actual... It's on there for free. You don't have to No, pay. no, okay. Uh, you can. All right, you know what? Fuck it. We're putting it on our Twitter, all right? It's on our Twitter right now. As you're listening to this, it's on our Twitter, at Marty and Michael. Fuck you, Matt Brown. You pig. Sorry. We can. Next question is from Aussie Bella. Oh. Um, why doesn't Julian get on the podcast more or in other videos more? Is he 
is he still a main character with the Marty and Michael? Yeah, of course he is. He's just not around as much. Last year, Julian was around us Monday to Friday, and our days were very intense. And now he... Um, well, he's branching out and doing his own videos. Oh, yeah, he's doing his own yeah. shit, and you know he's just around us um, less, so therefore he's just naturally in videos less because... He tried to shit on me today. Well, he will be, yeah. He will be shitting on you for the, 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 the steamer that we spoke of earlier. Sorry. <laughs> But yes, he's a main character because what other person will do that? Which is pretty cool. Well, there'll probably be a few people out there who would like to shit on their boss. Comment comment in the comments if you would be one of those people who would accept and genuinely like, think about it. Would you shit on your boss if asked to? Matt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? Sure, let us know. Like, would you shit on your boss? Okay, in the comments. All right, and last question goes to Hunter Height. Um, where did you guys find the brown? We found you hiding in a blockbuster amongst the adult section, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. That was at a blockbuster, and that's where James worked as well. Yeah, so James and me became friends at the video shop, and then James took me out one night. Tell us a video story. A video story from the video about me shop. and James, a or just about the just a funny story. blockbuster story of like a weird occasion that in you reckon, five seconds. You reckon will get us off? Okay, like enjoy. So, um, when when we had the video shop, it used to be a big. They used to be mega stores, and then they started chopping them down to make them more money, so they didn't have to pay so much rent. So when we chopped our store in half, we had an empty shop next door, and that was going to be a restaurant, right? And so they started putting in the plumbing for the restaurant. And me and James, we, there was a toilet in there so we could use it. We had the keys, but they all the plumbing was done. It's in the ground. And one day I went in there and James was in there and he was just pissing into the pipe in the ground. <laughs> and we were like, that's fucking hilarious. So we pissed into this pipe that hadn't been started yet for like a year. Cause they didn't, they renovated the shop and they held off and they held off for more and more. So we just had this open pipe and we would piss every single shift, like twice into this pipe. Did you break it? It was in the ground. So it was <laughs> did you huge. shit in it ever? No, I never shat in it. But we Wait, pissed. but what did it, something happen from it? So eventually a um, the restaurant didn't open and a computer repair place moved in there and opened their store in there. And they took over that and put a kitchen in. And all we know is that would have been full of piss when they finally connected those pipes. So you're saying the piss would have come out of the taps? It would have just been, I don't know if it's taps, but I wasn't there, but... The, the piping for the for that kitchen would have been full of piss. Wow. Just that's oh, sort that's, of cool. Yeah. Let's, let's hope if, that, so, yeah. that hope they were someone drank it. Or yeah. something. Let's hope that they would wash their hands in the yeah. urine. Yeah, let's let's, let's finger, cross our fingers. If they had a glass of water that day, you want yes. It was just a good thought. Ask James about it. He started it. All right. Well, um, let's have a, um, before we do PO boxes, that a, one feels better. a quick bong break, eh? <laughs> bong. Sorry. Ooh. All together now. Bong. Break. 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 Cut all of that and we're back. All right, we're going to do the P.O. Box. If you want to send us some weird shit, send it to P.O. Box 256 Tagum 4018 Queensland, Australia. We get sent all kinds of fuck shit. And we always open it live on the podcast. So we don't know what this stuff is. So it's always very exciting. Who's it from? All right, Michael's just ripped straight into a package that we've been sent. What does it say? Oh, Rondo? Ronda? Rhino. Rhino. Oh! Well, I saw a DM from these guys. Rhino is a, uh, a rock band. Um, and they've, yeah. they're pretty fucking good. You, have you listened to them, Michael? Not Rhino. Yet. Got Rhino. We've got a few. Uh, there's Winchester as well, another rock band. Yeah, Winchester. And, and Rhino. Um, they they've sent us some the shit. Dildo, whatever that is. If you're into rock music, go and have a listen to Rhino. Do I like him? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Fuck yeah. All right. And that is our PO Box segment. Thank you, Rhino. <laughs> All right, guys. Arnold Fine Time. No more fucking around. I'm going to call a restaurant and I want to fucking make it very clear that I'm bringing my pig in, whether they like it or not. That's the mindset I have. Hell yeah. They ha they serve pig. They should let pig come in. So Same gonna, thing, right? So I'm going to call a restaurant, Matt. That's Arnold Fine. 
and demand that me and my service pig get a table tomorrow night. Sorry about that. Sorry, dude. Are you are you near me? <laughs> <laughs> Weed really escalates the like the, you, the clay. Layer. You're all over like <laughs> like tonight heavily affected, but then the other day <laughs> you were like fucking having oh, beers too. Yeah. yeah, I've had. Well, this is, I've only had three beers yeah. technically. We got to so stop, that, I shouldn't be that we drunk. Stop fucking having a few of the podcast though. We'll fall back into nasty habits, and before you know, it, we'll be fucking hanging in the closet in your house. Oh, 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 the caretaker! <laughs> he's laughing. That's what he. That's what his reaction will be upon discovering our hanging, finally, swinging, our swinging corpses. That, finally, that laugh right yeah, there. I can imagine just <laughs> dangling in the room. If we want to get that kind of a laugh out of him, we we should fake hanging ourselves. Oh, Look at that laugh. Oh, 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 oh. That's a hearty laugh. <laughs> Dude, I've always wanted to try it. Like, no, no, the prank. Like, have something that can stabilize it so you actually look like you are. Yeah, yeah, it would be I a fun How do they do it in films? Anyway, imagine doing probably that not. to your mates. <laughs> Dude, okay, just imagine. Dude, that would be fucked up. You'd have to build it up of depression. I would honestly them. do something like that to Lockie. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. And I would not feel bad at all. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. He fucking. You, I, I think that. <laughs> Be You're line. lying. You're lying. <laughs> and just stay completely frozen. <laughs> if you are struggling with uh, mental health, uh, Beyond Blue, they help with anxiety, depression, and suicide prevention. Give them a buzz. We don't mean to make light of suicide, obviously, as all of us have s- suffered from mental health ourselves, especially Matt Brown. Yeah. As you're hearing from the black books. Someone pointed out on TikTok, they're like, this this cunt doesn't get, have the accent down pat. It's like, dude, I don't. It's a prank call. I don't. I don't know what this accent is. I'm I'm glad that it's a confusing accent. I don't want people to think that Arnold Fine is from a particular place when I'm calling them. He's a mixed adds, bag. It adds to the confusion. Okay, I'm not purposely trying to do one accent. This is a clusterfuck of all accents. I don't know what it is. Did they say what they thought you were trying to do? Yeah, they're like, oh, there's like fucking French in here and then there's like Indian. He sounds like he's fucking... Yeah, that's the whole point. Really hurt me. There's Antarctican in him, by the way. It's their dinner rush too, so they'll probably be busy, which is... Oh, hello. Uh, my name Arnold Fine. I uh, look to book a table for uh, two uh, people uh, tomorrow night, huh? Two people. Yo, tomorrow night, huh? Yeah. Okay, you That's have fine. you have uh, okay with a surface animal come in with the people. Sorry, what? Are you okay with a surface animal to come in Sorry. with? We're not allowed any animals inside the restaurant, unfortunately. It's it a surface animal. I have a surface... Oh, surface animal? Yes, yes, I yeah, have... Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, I have a certificate. Uh, the pig helped me with... Um, take me to bathroom and uh, uh, flick around uh, with me on floor. We play uh, kiss kiss and stuff. It's a little pig, huh? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so to be clear, me, my wife, uh, she's sick, but she come, and uh, one surface pick. Pig. Surface pick, yes. I have a service, su- service uh, certificate you need to see or not? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, so tomorrow I come with my wife, uh, yeah, one what pick. Time? Uh, maybe uh, seven, uh, seven thirty. Uh, where you have a spot, huh? I'd sprinkle. Huh? Seven thirty. Uh, have spots. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, maybe seven thirty. My wife, uh, she Thank like you. to sleep in a lot. Uh, maybe a little later, seven thirty. Huh? You write that down. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You write that down. Huh? You write down. Uh, make sure to make a note. Uh, surface pick, okay. Uh, I, I do not want to uh, come and uh, say oh, we do not have a pick here uh, and then uh, make me go home with a sick wife and a uh, youth tray. Yeah, I'll just double check and I'll be five seconds, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, hurry, hurry. I Fuck, uh, what problem, huh? 
What problem here? Fuck. Uh, hello, I hear you, Kiko. Surface pick, same thing. Huh? Dog pick, same thing. Huh? Um, so I just double check with um my boss, and yeah. he says that if it's um, is your pig big? It uh, may be uh, 70, 80 kilo, uh, so look like a big dog. Same as a guide dog. Huh? You know, a guide dog help uh, not see. Uh, my surface pick uh, keep me calm and uh, help me to toilet. It's, so it's 70, 80 kilo, so a big dog. Uh, it's, a, it's a pick. It uh, look like a big dog. Pick dog, it is the same exact animal. Same animal. So... Um, uh, do you want me to pass you on to um, my manager? Uh, okay, if you need to do that, uh, okay. I talk to manager about a peak. Oh, fuck me, man. Uh, Sorry, hi. Hello, hello. I want to book hi. a table, huh? Pardon? I want to book a table uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, yeah? Uh, yeah, and uh, I have a service uh, pick. And, uh, with the Sorry, I can't really hear. I have surface pick. A surface pick. You have a service pig? So, yes, uh, correct. I have a surface pick. Uh, he helped me uh, to sit down and uh, he take me to toilet and uh, help me uh, uh, wipe him uh, bottom and stuff like that. A uh, surface pick. If you've never seen a surface pick. Um, and how... Like, how big is the pig? Like I said to other lady, uh, 70, 80 kilos. Sorry, kilo. I'll just give it to my boss. Oh, are you go, come on, you'll be, uh, you fucking me around, huh? Uh, come on, you fucking me around now, huh? Hey, 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 come on, I hear you stalking, you coward. Uh, now I fuck you, huh? Now I fuck Fuck you, huh? Uh, Sophos pick coming. Uh... Sorry, I've just got to check with my boss. Okay, okay, I hear to perform. You bitch! <laughs> oh my god, I that fucking the hung up on me. On. That if was the... that was like from one to another and then another. That's so unprofessional, man. If the boss came on, that would have been the. <laughs> it was still fucking. I could listen to Arnold Dude, for the rest I, of my I could, life. I reckon I could have nearly, if I didn't go off the rails a bit, I could have convinced them to let me. Like we should have rocked up tomorrow night with a fucking pig. Filmed it. Would have been a lamb. Were, um, if because you were, she was yeah. the first employee was like a pig. Yeah, okay. I, like was a bit unsure. It was only when I reiterated and was like, "So I'm gonna come tomorrow with a pig, and you guys aren't gonna turn me away, right?" That was when she was like, "Oh, hang on, I better check." Oh man, let's just go there with a picture of a pig and say, "Hey, look!" Oh, we'll go there with Bosley, cunt, and I'll cut his tail off, and we'll sew a little wiggle one on. <laughs> oh, Why? Oh man, that was. I love hearing Arnold's fight, fe like feisty, se like side. He yeah. gets so cranky. Mm, oh, he gets yeah, very close. I fuck you! I fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's a bit of Luigi. Yeah, I know. It reminds me of that Thailand trip yeah. and it just, it brings back memories and I just love that character. Oh, anyway, guys, please like, comment, subscribe or give us a five-star review on Spotify. Help us. If you liked the uh, podcast and let us know in the comments what segments you miss, what you want to bring back and what you fucking hate because we love doing this shit for you dogs. Now, shit off and fuck off because we're the best dogs in the kennel. We're the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the best, best dogs best, in best. the kennel. We're the, we're the best. best. We're, the we're the best. best. Say it, we're Matt. The best dogs in the Say it. Ah. You got a stripper for you, you cunt. We pay for it. We'll we're pay the for best. it, man. We're the best. <coughs> we're the best. We're the fucking best. We're, we're the, best. the best. Two camera angles, not we're three. The we're the best. Oh, yeah, shit. Apart from that, we're not the best. Sorry about that. We Sorry. were very good.